people. Here we go. Some news headlines. Let's go. Hey, gun people. Yeah, uh, so the Washington Post looks like they solved the incompetent FBI who couldn't find the leaker. Uh, and, I mean, in all fairness, the FBI probably has him identified and may know him. Uh, and again, you don't know. Maybe I'm giving him too much credit. But sometimes in an investigation, if you know who did it, and there's not a threat of him doing more, or he doesn't have access to more information, you kind of follow him, see who he's talking to, gather more intel, see if he'll admit something. You get a, a, a detailed view of where he goes, what he does. Uh, this guy evidently just changed his number. His mom ratted him out and said he changed his number. So uh, mom ratted him out. She'll be in court later crying about how he's a good boy. But um, they, they interviewed one of his friends who didn't want to give his name, and now they've got his name. And I, to be honest, I'm okay with this guy leaking this shit. Uh, Korea's pissed off because Korea has a law that their government is not supposed to give weapons to other countries. And Korean's government is giving weapons to Ukraine without telling the Korean people. So I'm glad it was leaked. And the Korean people ought to know what their government's doing so they can try and hold them accountable. And we found out some of the things that we're doing. And I'm okay with that too. This, this classified shit that everybody buys into that, oh, our government works for the people and by the people, but we're not allowed to know what they do, therefore we can't hold them accountable. And if we find out, then we're going to send somebody to prison that told us. So we make it illegal to keep the American people informed. I'm not a fan of that. I'm okay with whistleblowers. And I'm not sure this guy's a whistleblower. It sounds like he was a little gamer. He goes by OG. He was in charge of this little group that they had, and he was telling them shit that he was reading. I think he worked for the Air National Guard or something. And uh, he was telling them things they did, and all his friends were saying, man, that's bullshit. That's not true. And he goes, man, I'll prove it. And he got suckered in. Sounds like a young, young kid that got sucked in to some bullshit. But let's... uh. Let's watch this, listen to this. I think that there was a goal nor some sort of accomplishment that he was looking for in sharing these documents. Of course, there's some anti-government sen uh, sentiment, but that's not unlike most right-wingers in the modern day and age. He was not hostile to the U.S. government. However, he had disagreed with several occasions such as Waco. And now, this is supposedly, I think, his best friend. He's painting him out to be a right-wing conspiracy patriot, which I'm okay with. He's not happy with Waco. I'm okay with that, too. Ruby Ridge and thought that the government is overreaching in several aspects. The government is overreaching. I agree with him. To be honest, when they started describing it, I was like, shit, they think I did it. There was no heavy Snowden-like conspiracy here, like some people may believe in them, and they were not commenting on them. They were just sitting there. I want to keep OG's identity secret because I still care for him, like he's a family member. <laughs> okay, let me go tell you what's going to happen to this guy. First of all, the FBI is going to the Washington Post saying, we want this guy's ID, and if you don't give it to us, we'll arrest you for obstruction and lying and blah, 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 threaten him. So they're going to know this guy's ID. Then they're going to interview him and tell him that if you don't help us or assist us or if you lie to us, you're going to prison, and you're going to give us his name, or you're going to be arrested for obstruction and lying, and you're going to prison. And we've got your interview, and that's what we're going to use to convict you. But anyway, this kid doesn't realize the shit that he's in. He is not a Russian operative. He's not a Ukrainian operative. I'll go as far to say he's not even on the east side of the world. Any claims that he is a Russian operative or pro-Russian is categorically false. So this kid thinks he's helping his friend. This is why government likes an ignorant voting public. The dumber we can make you think you are and the safer we think you can make you are when you believe shit like if we take guns away from good people, you'll be safer, and therefore we'll get the guns so you'll be an unarmed populace and you can't hold government accountable. You can't hold us accountable when you have guns. What the hell do you think's going to happen once they get the guns? So this kid is just stupid, but, and he may end up going to jail. He'll cut a deal and testify against his friend. He is not interested in helping any foreign agencies with their attack on the U uh 
Treason and sharing classified document is not specific intent. If he had access to these documents, they're classified, he's got a clearance, and you're told you can't share, repeat, tell your spouse, you can't say shit. If you repeat, share, or any information that you see gets out, you're responsible and you're going to jail. So not only is the FBI going to go after this guy, the military is going to go after him with the UCMJ. But it doesn't matter. I mean, that unfortunately, this kid, which I think is just a mistake, and I don't really have a problem with what he did, he's going to prison, and this guy's going to prison unless he helps the FBI. U.S. or other countries. He was a, he was a young, charismatic man who loved nature, God, who loved shooting guns and, and racing cars. <laughs> So we got to get in there that he likes God and he likes guns. Therefore, the left will be, we knew it was a right-wing conspiracy gun-loving patriot. White supremacy, that's what he was. That's the problem with the country. Okay, whatever. He did have sort of a bossy attitude at some points, but it was more of a fatherly bossy. He did see himself as the leader of this group, and he ultimately he was the leader of this group. And he wanted us all to be sort of super soldiers to some degree, informed, fit, with God, well-armed, stuff like that. Sounds like a good patriot, good American. What's wrong with that? It would appear as if he sort of grew angry with the fact that only one or two people were paying attention to these documents that he was pouring his heart out into. And as a sign of just anger, he just decided to post the full documents. He was a very smart man. There's no way in any world that he would not know that he knew that these were illegal. He was a very smart man. There's no way he knew they were legal. So he's going to be repeating that on the stand under oath. So here's another little interview by this little snitch. I mean, his friend. I mean, the guy who's going to cut a deal with the FBI. Here we go. So thrusted into a situation that no one wants to be thrusted into. All the documents that have been leaked, I've seen every single one there is to see. And I was in close proximity to these files. It is, it is a lot on my shoulders and it's very stressful. So there's a lot on his shoulders. So now he's claiming a victim too. Spoke to members of the chat room Discord gaming platform in which hundreds of classified documents were leaked. Wow. The member, a minor, so spoke on condition now, with parent permission. I can't believe his parent let me do this. Documents. My first question for you is, when did you first see these documents? I was first made aware of these documents, I want to say about six to eight months ago. I was in a Discord server by the name of... Maybe his parents thought by doing this document they were protecting him to show that he wasn't involved and that he could have an out. Maybe they were smarter than we think. Because remember, they're talking to the press thinking their identity is going to be kept secret. We've lost secrecy a long time ago with the press. We don't have a free press. And the government will intimidate, lock up lawyers. They violate attorney-client privilege. They violate the free press all the time. Nothing's secret when you talk to anybody anymore. With Doug Shaker Central. And in this channel, there was classified. Oh, I was in a Discord server by the name of Doug Shaker Central. And in this channel, there was classified documents being posted by a user who I will refer to as OG from this point. The documents were often listed as Ukraine versus Russia at first. However, it slowly spiraled into just intelligence about everything. Why do you think people should know? Now, I want you to remember the competency of our government. These are classified documents of being shared online. And we're told that we have to get rid of TikTok because Chinese government is spying on us and they know everything we do. And yet our own government didn't know that classified documents were being shared for months and didn't know anything about it. But Rick, the government's good and they're really, they're really like trained and, and, and good and, and we should like government and we should give them our guns because they'll protect us. Well, that's because you're an idiot. There's talks of foreign intelligence agencies, who's supplying what and what wars, who's funding certain things. There's talks of uh, nuclear weaponry. I mean, that's hardly touching the iceberg. There's just stuff that if your tax dollars are funding these atrocities, then you should be able to know about it. And how did that feel to I agree. things before the rest of the world knew about it felt like I was on top of Mount Everest. It felt like I was above everyone else to some degree and that um, I, I, would, I would be able to brag to some people that I knew stuff that they didn't. And of course, most people did not believe me. However, me knowing that I knew it myself was more than enough to keep my ego high.
U.S. is acting so foolish in their handling of this. The U.S. government is not with you. They are against you. Correct. And bottom line, if they want these to be private, it's because they have something to hide. Good. No one wants to be a part of history in this type of way, especially someone as young as me. Being a part of something that's possibly war changing, the world changing, world altering. It's something that no one should ever really have to go through if they're unprepared for it. So anyway, um, interesting. They're going to get him soon. I mean, I'm sure they're going to get his records. Uh, they're saying, the FBI is saying they want to talk to him. I'm not sure why they haven't arrested him yet. But I guess my biggest question is, is the government going to try and use this now and go after any media that shared it? Anybody else that copied it and shared it? And anybody that had knowledge of it and didn't report it to the government? That's what they're going to be trying to pass next in the uh, upcoming... Uh, protect U.S. Secrets Act uh, for Freedom. That'll be the new act. Protect U.S. Secrets for, for Freedom Act, which will have nothing to do with freedom and have nothing to do with protection. It'll only give government war ways to go after and screw people. My advice to anybody that had contact with any of these documents whatsoever, if they do give a statement, probably give no statement, but if you do give a statement, your statement needs to be, I didn't know they were real. I had no way to confirm whether these were true or not. I was just sharing things. I didn't know they were classified. I didn't know they were really classified. I didn't know if they correct. That's probably your best defense. Because I think one of the elements is you have to know that you're doing this. Now, and then the government would have to prove that any reasonable person would believe they were in fact true. But there's already reports that some of the stuff that was leaked is not true. They were modified. So who knows? Not knowing is a good defense. Anyway, we'll end that there on OG about to get arrested.